Welcome to the Daily Guidance Meditation Podcast with the Realized Master. These meditation talks were recorded during intensive spiritual retreats with Sadhguru Siriyaji. Therefore, they might contain some specific teachings and wisdom for life to be taken into consideration. Each recording begins with a mantra to bring you into a favorable condition for the inner journey. This initial mantra is followed by a brief talk in which the process of meditation is explained to you. After the talk, keep meditating at least for 15 minutes and if you like it, continue, increasing the time by and by as you proceed. So now you are left with nothing else to do but close your eyes, relax, listen and let meditation happen. Satna 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 Satnam Radasu Ami Radasu So The sun raises, I sit down begging for your love. My heart and soul are pining. Bless me by 
manifesting one of your glimpses. So starting the day with a meditation, sitting, with an act of devotion that brings in love, then that help us tune in with said Guru power. It is the best way of starting our day. It is the way a seeker of truth should always, by any means, begin his day, his, her day. Because this will attract on us his blessing. Will uh, protect us. Will uplift our consciousness and therefore attract into our life. Into the day that we are going to, to live. the blessing, the grace, the support and protection. So one of the purposes by which this is to be done is to attract is uh, blessing, is protective shelter is Sharan, as they say in India. That will protect us from uh, low energies that may complicate our life. But if we have this shield around us, then those won't bother us. Because our level of consciousness will be above it, will be uplifted. Therefore, we will invite you into your life, into our experience, good vibes, good energy. That we create good events. Blessed events. So there are several reasons why we should start our day this way. The other reason is that we need, I mean, a real seeker of truth, a real satsangi, will need to feel his presence. <coughs> because this is what makes our within beautiful. peaceful, harmonious, this is, is what will inspire our mind with beautiful thoughts, inspired thoughts, creative thoughts, therefore our choices in life will be of a higher kind, will be inspired. Then there is also a sense of commitment, of duty. Because when we took initiation, we promised that we would meditate every day. That's why we took initiation, because we want to follow the path. 
and we want to get the benefit that the path may grant us, provide us. So it's a promise to God, the Master and ourselves to live a certain lifestyle. And we do it because we are dignified people that stand by their own promises, their own choices in life. So here we are for a retreat, for a week retreat, which is going to be as ever beautiful week, a blessed week, a better quality week. And we want to do our best especially during retreats, we really have to give out our best. And do nothing which is going against the purpose for which we have come to a retreat. That means we want to be loving, cooperative. We want to be at disposal. We want to make ourselves available, ready to cooperate in all possible ways so that this week is going to be a beautiful week for everyone. So we want to be good, we want to do good, and eventually we want to become one, like a soul in different bodies. We don't want to be judgmental, we don't want to criticize anybody, we want to have unconditional love for everybody. No matter how we are, no matter the differences created by our own way of being, mentality and so forth, we don't care about this. Everyone has his own. But we want to see the good side of everyone. Only the good side of everyone. And also manifest the best side of ourselves. So please let us do our best to have a wonderful week. I'm very happy to see all of you. I am very happy to spend this week with you and meditate with you seeing the bhajans, have satsang. So I hope you're also as happy to be with me and do the same. So let this, be, this meditation also be an attempt to try to withdraw as much as possible from uh, this physical body. from this thinking mind and become pure consciousness, awareness, free from body and thoughts. There's consciousness which is life. So we want to well focus our attention in the middle of what we see in front of our forehead. And steadily look in the center, in the middle of what we see.
Just look intently, minutely, in a penetrating way. With full involvement, and at the same time, let's keep calling on our beloved by repeating the Simran. There will be one glance. One repetition. That's all is to be done. This way the mind will switch off. The inner vision will open. And we will uh, manifest by His grace the inner light. which will make us feel wonderful, blessed, before let's pray to the Supreme Sadhguru to be merciful, to be Kirpal, Ah, come to blessings.